Hardcore show coming live and direct. Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. The Masters of Hardcore! You're listening to Masters of Hardcore Mayhem, your monthly dose of hardcore. You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Hardcore heads and welcome to Master of Hardcore Mayhem. Tonight is an extra special episode. I mean, it's always special, but tonight is extra special because it's our one year anniversary. We have come full circle here. We have Urian in the house. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> you were here for the first episode with Destructive Tendencies. Yes. And now you're back again for the one year anniversary. Really, really excited to have you here. I'm also bulletproof and drops. This is a two hour, or more mayhem. than two hours, two hours, two and a bit hours of absolute mayhem. We're gonna hear all the sounds of hardcore. It's gonna get hard, it's gonna get fast, it's gonna get rough, everything. Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> it's a bit hot in the studio yeah. today. So, uh, yeah, Furion. I think it's time you take it away. Show us what I you will. got and let's I make will. this one year anniversary with extra mayhem. You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem.
man to the foe Easy motherfucking E with the chrome to your dome Cruising in my 6-4 rack top I got a lot of juice, a lot of fucking block Now when I hit that switch, I'm bouncing More props to the outs and I'm clowning Keep the gat in my lap Cause I'm fully strapped for the carjackers But no haps cause I pack the deck Mine, deck, mine in the con concrete Quality Hardcore, delivered straight to you. Lost your mind? I mean, 
How is it that you can disrespect a man's music to our style of dress? Not to mention your basic imitation of our course of cool. Walk, talk, dress, mannerisms. We enrich your very existence. People like you desecrate things they don't understand when the truth is you should say thank you, man. And go on about your life. But apparently, you're incapable of doing that. So...
This is a journey into sound. Bassdrum korrekt? Die Jungs, diese Bassdrum korrekt oder was? Und diese? Ist diese korrekt? Okay, Moment, Moment. Ist diese Bassdrum korrekt? Okay, Moment, Moment. Eine habe ich noch. Und diese? Ja! Yeah. 
Masters of Hardcore Monthly Mayhem.
motherfucker 260 combined Here to bring the ruckus <laughs>
You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Subterranean, another steel titanium with powers of uranium coming out of my cranium. Get ready to rumble. Let's get busy. Three, two, one, contact. Gang, 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 gang. Time to crank up the tempo. Go hard, go fast. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Party people in the place. I'm here to stay. Back. My DJ is going all the way. Together we are masters of hardcore. Stay on point, never just 
This is Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Hey, Furion. Hi, Cassie. How are you hey. doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit toasty in the studio. Yeah. Perfect. Um, but great set. Thank you. I loved it. Good. Uh, what was that last track you played? Uh, Whoa, well, it's a cocaine remix by uh, two guys called Anger Zem. Okay. And uh, I was really blown away by the effective effectiveness. The effectiveness, the track. yeah. Effectiveness of the track. Very versatile. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, 250 BPM. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking insane. What a banger. Because I love it. Uh, you put a message on your social media like some time ago yep. asking people, challenging young producers, whatever producers, to uh, remix cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. Um, and did you receive a lot of good? Yeah, I received, uh, I think, more than 100 remixes. Oh shit, nice. Really, really uh, a couple, yeah. So, um, yeah, there were. Just a couple. Just a couple, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think there were like uh, 10, uh, uh, it was really difficult, but maybe 10, 15 remixes, I uh, really had to choose between them. Uh, first, I want to pick just one, yeah. but now uh, three of them were really standing out and they're going to be released. They're going to be released? Soon! On Mass of Hardcore? On Mass of Hardcore. Oh, very nice. And um, yeah, it's been one year since you were last in our studio for the Mayhem show. How has your year been? This is from from last August to this August. Obviously, a lot's probably changed for you. Yeah. Well, not. Yeah, of course. Uh, of the bookings, uh, the gigs. Yeah. They're really thin right now. Um, personally, I'm yeah, still working on the album. Um, I think the whole Corona uh, shit gave me more time to work in the studio to explore different uh, genres also. Uh, try different stuff, and you sure will hear it in the in the album. Yeah. But I don't have a, um, uh, a release date set yet because I really want to bring something really special. But now, because I've got kind of time enough, yeah. it really re has to be really special. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And have you felt more creative in the studio since you've had more time? Or is it a bit like, yeah. without parties, a bit less yeah, creative? No, uh, maybe two months ago I had a short writer's block for maybe two or three weeks. Mm. It was really shitty, but but I know it's it happens once in a while. So I also I calculated that it possibly, possibly would happen. Yeah. But now I'm uh, yeah like a machine back in the studio back working. In back in action. Nice. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, so you're going to release your album soon. You've been feeling the flow in the studio, and I think you've also been feeling the flow in the gym. Back to the <laughs> yeah. gym now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I uh, I picked up the, my workout uh, routine again. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just like off during the this quarantine? Yeah, but I I was already in the gym maybe four times a week, but now I'm training maybe two times a day. So oh, wow. like kind of eight uh, eight times a week maybe yeah what so That's maybe crazy. yeah so I'm from maybe f five five to seven and then I go home I eat and then I just jump on the bike or I put my running shoes on and then I just do some cardio and listening to whatever YouTube gives me mu music and then I, I enjoy nature and the sun and it really uh, kind of opened up you know it's, yeah. uh, it's good I like it oh fit boy maybe um I need to do some personal training with you. Yeah, <laughs> could be. I have no stamina have. these days. <laughs> Without parties, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's difficult. You, you actually get really fit at parties. Yeah, yeah, jumping uh, around and dancing like, all day uh, and all of that. Eight, eight hours of cardio. Kinda. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm missing that for my yeah. life, really. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me again. Um, do you have any last words for our viewers tonight? Whoa. Um, fuck Corona. And yeah, let's hope we can party again, again soon, very soon, because it's getting unbearable. 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 Yeah, for sure. Fuck. 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 Just fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, stay positive. Stay That's positive. The, positive yeah. vibes, guys. Exactly. Vibes. Anyway, thank you so much, Furian, for joining us. We'll probably see you on the second year anniversary for sure. For sure. Already locking you in now. Super. <laughs> and next up, we have Bulletproof.
your favorite hardcore show coming live and direct. Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. The Masters of is Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem.
fucking life of Hardcore Mayhem. Hardcore delivered straight to you. Right or wrong, I'm gonna finish this war. I don't play by the rules anymore. You don't want to go to war with me. I'm an army of one.
dropping your bob and your boom box You, you motherfuckers fuck, 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 fuck
masters of hardcore monthly mayhem.
just a couple of musicians, boys. Notorious criminals Bonnie and Clyde.
You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem, your monthly dose of hardcore. Hello, Bulletproof. How are you? I'm fine, you, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks for the set. And most of all, thanks for coming in today for our one year anniversary of Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Thank you for the invite. Of course, of <laughs> course. So first of all, I just wanted to check in with you and see how the last months have been for you. How's everything been going um, at home, without gigs? Can you just run everyone through how your life has been so far? Well, at home, everything goes very well. But of course, there are, well, the gigs are starting a little bit, the small, small, tiny parties. But that's it. And it was like crazy, busy with parties and everything. And then suddenly, boom. Corona came and everything stopped. So I was a little bit depressed at the beginning. I was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> but now it's slowly starting. Yeah, it's. I hope everything will be done quick because yeah, <laughs> I want to sure. party again. <laughs> yeah, and you said you've, um, well, you've had some small parties already. How did it feel after not playing in front of a crowd for so many months and finally you were playing in front of an audience? How did that feel? I was like crazy nervous. Yeah. It was so strange. I walked in the club and it was a strange feeling because we, we didn't been in a club for, I think, almost four months. Yeah. And suddenly I walked in and I saw the people sitting, of course. <laughs> but still, I was so nervous. I was like, oh, finally I can play again for a real crowd. So, yeah, it was, yeah. It was awesome, yeah. And there you also did um, an exclusive official album showcase. Yes. How did it feel to play all of your tracks in front of people again? Well, of course, the people already heard a lot of the yeah. tracks. But with, with the party, it was... yeah. It, because normally when you release an album, you can play it every party. You can yeah. play all the tracks. Yeah. And now only on a few live streams. So, yeah, the people were very happy to hear, the, to hear the tracks and I was also very happy to see their reaction because normally when you finish a track in the studio, you like to test it on the crowd and yeah. now there is no crowd, <laughs> so it's very difficult to test the tracks, but they, they enjoyed it, so yeah. Good to hear. And can you tell our viewers a little bit more about your upcoming album, No Mercy? Yes. Well, it's coming in September because a lot of people are asking, like, when is it coming? It's coming in September. It's it's finished, so yeah, you have to wait a little, little longer and then it's finally here. Yeah, I'm and so excited about it. And it will be out on Party Razor recordings. Yes, yep. indeed. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And did you play some of the album tracks today during your set? Of course. Of course, great. <laughs> and is there anything you can talk about, um, about the collabs or people you've worked with for the album? Yeah, of course I did some uh, special collabs. There's already uh, a collab coming sooner than the release of the album. Ooh. So <laughs> I think so people already saw it. It's the collab with Paul Elstock. Yep. So it's, it's a totally different track, but it's very cool. Uh, of course, I did a, a collab with my husband, with Party Razor, uh, with Cryogenic, with F Noise. So with the Dark Horror, there are a few collabs wow. on the album. Yeah. Oh. Big album coming, lots of collabs, some big names. And of course, the track with Paul Elstock, that's yeah. out in a couple of days on Master Particle on the yes. 10th of August. Indeed, yeah. So if you haven't yet pre-saved it to Spotify, you can check our comments right now. Pre-save it to Spotify, you're gonna love it. It's coming with a video clip. Yes. It's gonna yes. be huge. Yeah. Well, Bulletproof, thanks a lot so much for, for the catch up and I hope everything's going well with you. Yes. And hope to see you again. Playing in for front, sure. hopefully, of a bigger sure. crowd. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. And we can't wait for the album as well in Thank September. You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And next up, we have Drox. Stay tuned. After the break, he'll be back. Your favorite hardcore show coming live and direct. Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. The Masters of You're tuned into Masters of Hardcore Mayhem.
Dominator, we will prevail. <laughs> Born to rule. <laughs> this is Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Sick of the stage, let us motherfucking rage. Show what we're made of, we're gonna leave this cage. Society collapse, they can never deny it. Set a fucking walls out of sword and riot.
tough rip. Brand new shoes. Shoes got a master shirt. Brand new kick, 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 kick. Got a tough rip. Old school nice. Brand new shoes. Old school nice. Shoes got a master shirt. Old school nice. Brand new kick. Old school nice. Three, two, the realm. 
gewoon in onze cultuur. Wij willen stampen. Nederlanders willen stampen.
you ever wondered what it would sound like if a motherfucker took a drill, half inch, and drilled right in through the top of a motherfucker's head? of hardcore mayhem. Can't touch this shit.
everybody in the world going to die? Everybody in the world going to die?
into power. And it's always that fake hard motherfucker. These fake hard ass fools, they don't care about their people because I went against all that shit. My whole thing is, I don't give a fuck and I'm ready to put my motherfucking life on the line for that shit. And my people, they saw that shit. If we just change the definition of hard... Pussy ass motherfucker If we just change the definition of heart
Hello, Mr. Drox. Hello, Cassie. How are Hello. you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for coming in today for our special one year anniversary. Uh, thanks for the invite. Yeah. I'm really glad to be here. Of course. We wouldn't invite anything but the best. Oh, you know that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, first of all, I have to ask uh, what's up with the t shirt? Please explain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, on the Hong Kong violence stream, Bruce, the son of Akira, yeah. is uh, arranging the tech always okay. with, uh, with the internet connection and all that. And we're always joking, <laughs> make that clear, we're joking, <laughs> like Akira is really strict on his son and he locks him up in the basement and stuff. But Bruce said, no ice cream, no party. <laughs> so, you know, and, and the hashtag was in the, in the chat room always, oh. <laughs> you know, so that's why free Bruce. And it's father and son, so this, uh, Bruce is DJing as well. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. so maybe an idea for the show here in yeah. the future. Yeah, yeah no Akira idea. together with, the, with his son. Um, he doesn't play the same like his son, he's more hardcore-ish. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, huh. and Akira is more industrial style and yeah. old school terror, of course. So, but uh, yeah, it's a great combination. And he's, uh, because I'm close to Akira, it's like seeing my little nephew play, you know? Yeah, so, so I'm really proud so that he's yeah. making progress and all that. You've watched him grow up and yeah, 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 now yeah, here we absolutely. are. Absolutely. Cool, very cool. And um, so how have you been these last few months with the coronavirus and being at home? How has that kind of changed your life over these um, last months? It made me reset a little bit. Yeah. I already had to break before the corona. Yeah, I took a six month uh, break. So the corona is like a massive extended uh, <laughs> uh, break. Um, it made me really zen in my head. Okay. I, I'm, I'm less angry uh, uh, towards uh, what's happening in the scene and I don't care much I'm just gonna follow my own path yeah. and and now nowadays I'm really into just hard hardcore and, and, and terror and what the rest makes or does <laughs> I couldn't yeah. care less you gotta to let honest. it be because everybody has such different tastes as well yeah some yeah people yeah. like this some people like that and it's really great to have a diverse hardcore scene where there's where there's literally everything. I, I agreed. Um, I explained in an interview with Drive yeah. It Hardstyle um, that that I was angry with some artists, uh, but that was just because of timing. Yeah. You know, we're just taken seriously uh, by the media with the hardcore scene. Yeah, and, of course. And then all of a sudden, some artists pop up, not mentioning names, that wouldn't take it as seriously and and that was really like um for old motherfuckers like me you know like oh why you know yeah. so but i have to let it go and let it be and it's all right yeah very positive attitude yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the bonus from the corona virus although um uh, I'm really happy that there's now small parties. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. And have you played at any of these small parties recently? Uh, yeah, I did one uh, in a up-tempo event in uh, in Time Out. Yeah. I, I got my own party um, the 21 of August. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. so it's Drugged Presents Terror Heads together with Akira, who's going to play an old school set. Yeah, Edward, Edward. With his son? Yeah. <laughs> So, and uh, the visitor is there, and SRB is there, and a new coming girl is uh, is helping us out, uh, Ignia. So, that's really cool. Cool, really nice. And during your time off, did you also spend a lot of time in the studio, or did you also take a break from making music? No, 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 no. In, in the beginning, when, when I just started my break, I was just like still in that mode. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, studio, studio, studio. So, it slowly took a little bit off. I'm, I'm working really a lot on the proactive hardcore um, yep. uh, project on Afterlife. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so um, that gives me energy. Uh, yeah. Working with Sander gives me energy. Uh, we got the same music vibe. Um, uh, what we like. So, so yeah. Yeah. That. So I'm still really busy a lot with a lot of collabs okay. with vandalism. Um, uh, collab with a breakcore legend end user okay. and I'm really happy with that so so there's a lot of things going on I'm no I'm not <laughs> not standing still very cool great to hear and um, yeah I think that's it I think right. you covered everything yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks a lot again for coming in today the show yeah, wouldn't yeah. be the same without you oh thank Mr. you Drops. thank you 
Grandpa Drox, Opera Drox. Yeah, and I, I, I hope that the people like the like the set. You know, I played yeah. a little bit different, uh, and, and at the end I played really fast, and then small breakdown again. So that's cool. Yeah, you played a, a really good set. Not not too fast. It was nice build up and and break and build up and break. I really liked it. That's the way she should have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Tips from Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. No, I got this from Manuel and Melin. Manuel and Melin said, never start your set really fast. Yeah. Because DJing is just like sex. You start slow. Slow and, you... and steady wins the race. Yeah, yeah. And then end up fast. It's I a always marathon. took that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a marathon, <laughs> not a sprint. <laughs> So no, no. Real talk. Real talk. So right. thanks, Cassie. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight to Master of Hardcore Mayhem, our one-year anniversary with Furion, Bulletproof, and Drox. I hope to see you all next month for another episode. Free Bruce. <laughs> Free Bruce. <laughs> Your favorite hardcore show, coming live and direct. Masters of Hardcore Mayhem. Your favorite hardcore show, coming live and direct. Masters of Hardcore Mayhem.